Just anxiously awaiting images from that historic landing on the surface of the moon. Odysseus touched down near the lunar South Pole last night, the first U.S. spacecraft to do so in over 50 years and the first ever by a private company. It's quite something. Action News reporter Becca Hendrickson live at the Franklin Institute now with some perspective on this significant moment for space exploration. Hey, Becca. Hey, Brian and Sarah, it is so significant for the future, really, of space exploration as we've been here at the Franklin Institute all day inside of the space exhibit. We've seen students on field trips and parents bringing their young kids to learn about space. That knowledge is going to be even more accessible because of this moon landing. And pretty soon we could see real astronauts back on the moon jumping like this guy. For the first time in more than 50 years, an American-made spacecraft is back on the moon. It's a historic feat. That's one small step for man. Matched only by the Apollo missions in the 60s and 70s. It's better to do this one step at a time than try and do it all in one go. Though if you ask an astronomer like Derek Pitts from the Franklin Institute, the landing of Odysseus, which was built by a private company called Intuitive Machines, opens an entirely new chapter for space exploration. NASA bought the service, but the company that put it together did the whole thing by themselves. And with uh... Thursday marked the first time a private spacecraft has ever landed on the moon, and Pitts believes it will not only drive competition, but it will help American astronauts get back to the moon as well. Instead of being there for only a few hours, we're going to be there for days and weeks at a time. We're going to establish permanent research stations so that astronauts can go and explore the surface for a long time and possibly be a stop on the way to Mars. As Pitts explained the significance, <laughs> students learned about space and the moon inside the Franklin Institute. They could be the potential next, I don't know, landing on Mars or doing something even better than what we're doing now. Kids marveled at the idea of the first moon landing in five decades. I think it's cool. Why do you think it's cool? Because I'm just like, I just wonder what it's like up in space. Oh, the wonders, and we're expected to learn more about that Odysseus landing soon. We're really hoping to get some pictures within the next hour. NASA is going to give a press conference on this soft moon landing. But for now, live here inside the Franklin Institute, Becca Hendrickson, Channel 6, Action News. Brian and Sarah.